Hello everyone and welcome to Raven's World and welcome to my let's play of X Rebirth. So it's time to make some more money. I was thinking I could first go to the trade deals and then kind of give everyone some tasks and then um, basically do some missions. So let's go to the trade deals. We've got this Gigarim here, but let's start off with something that's bigger. Like this Rahanas here. So we could make a fair amount of profit, but it's a large investment as well. So maybe start off a little bit smaller like this one. It's also very close by. So we'll How do many? that one. And then we have this Titteral here. Ooh, look at that. That's a good amount of profit. Not sure if this will still hold true, but let's see. It's not a very large investment, so that's okay. All right, cool. So let's see if there's anything to do here. Um, deliver, deliver. Nah, let's go do some interesting things. All right, here we are. Let's see if there's anything cool here. Collection of valuable items. 3.2 million, Hey, That's a lot. Sounds interesting though. Um, criminal attack incoming. All right. Is it these people here? They don't have the icon around them. Oh, there's one. Oh, they all have it now. Okay, cool. Terrible that this is flying here. That's already quickly done. Only two enemies that I had to kill. Uh, 700,000 payment. That's okay. Mm, was hoping for a little bit more, but well. You know what I need. And I have these big ships. I think I'll do this. It's very expensive, but Thank you for protecting our station. I'm curious Thank on what it would be. Am I already in the right area? Very heroic. So can I then activate my mission? Yeah, 
Or which area? This area. Let me go away first. Now I have some guidance. Cool. Let's hope that that works out. Right to five ways. Interesting. Calibrating HUD. Resetting HUD instruments. That's the wrong scans. Come on. Here we go. Calibrating HUD. All right, let's see if we can find something. Why is there a blue one here? Ah. Rare engine axis. Ooh. But. Is that a blue one? Let's hope this is the one for the mission. Hey. That was probably not the one that was worth so much money. And my mission didn't end, so. Can we actually just destroy this? Probably not. But it doesn't show up anymore. Yeah, now it doesn't show up as blue anymore. That's good. I guess there was a fight there, so probably just some stuff to pick up. It's 
psychedelic mushrooms. It's going to be hard to find, uh, considering we didn't really get directions like go into that certain direction like we normally do. What is the best angle of attack here? Probably something like this. Then. No, that wasn't it. Hear something. There we go. Hopefully, that's the one. Hope I don't blow it up. I'm going to take it a bit easy, like trying to. So I'm quite close by, I'm not sure how those guns converge to this middle point. Seems to be quite okay. Mission complete! Ooh! I got the stuff I needed. Great work! I'm not sure I want to know what trouble you went to get those parts. Bring them back to me and I'll start adding them to what I already have. Reward experimental jump drive. Ooh, that would be cool. to shady vaults <laughs> i've never had a jump drive in this game so quite excited about that that should make the travels a bit easier as i'm still not a fan at all of this highway system and i don't agree with egosoft on that point they say that well those jump gates they make the world feel smaller but to me, it's actually the other way around. To me, these highways make it feel smaller. Like jump gates, wow, we need jump gates to get from place to place. And then you have like concentrated parts into one area like an X3. I think that actually makes the world feel way bigger than, than it does here. Because you can kind of fly everywhere just using these things. I don't know, maybe just my opinion. That was also a bit sad to hear that in the next X game, X4, there will be highways again. But we'll see. I'm quite excited for it, but I'm not hyped for it yet. I, I hope for the best. But I'm definitely one of those people that would, I think, enjoy more of a throwback to the old X games than an extension to this game. I enjoy playing this, but I've never had this feeling that I had an X3 where I was just really engaged and really kind of immersed into the world. And I've been trying to play this for a long time now just to see if I can really get that feeling back, but it hasn't happened yet.
Although for me the problem that you can only fly one ship here is not that much of a problem really. I always like the management aspects and stuff more than, I don't know, flying around in a mega capital ship. But it's certainly nice that we will be able to fly in all ships in X4. Quite far away, the jump drive. Transferring funds for refueling, that's fine. That's not even that expensive. Torrid Vale. Ooh, unknown zones. Almost there, I hope. That's going to be great with the jump drive, then we don't have to make these long tracks anymore, depending on how much crystals or energy cells or whatever we need for it. Where are we going? Molten Archon. Not sure if I've been there. Doesn't sound familiar, at least. Oh, I've been here.
really wonder where she is. Where is that? No. It's another area again. have anyone here in the Hey my friend Yes we do cool to check the bulletin board, active missions, briefing, show on map. Zone High Scholar. Okay. Just did a bit of flying then. On to the Fallen Kingdom. It's a beautiful area here. Not good for my frame rate, but at least it look, looks pretty. We made two million credits. And one million. I wonder why these are boosting upwards. Like if you wanted to maintain your current distance from the planet, you should boost forwards when you're orbiting it. Maybe they're not orbiting it and they're just hanging completely still. I don't know how that would work though. More fiction than science, I guess. Woohoo! Give me my jump drive. Let's actually check if there's someone here. Uh, How can I help? No. We already have someone. We made another four million. Nice. Perfect. Hello there. Test bed engine. Or do I have to do that? Yeah, but then I still need these. Which I don't have. Hello, pilot. What can we offer you? Sure. These products are of Look at that. Of 
Got all of these. These products are of the highest quality. Now this one's very expensive. Mine are the finest in the sector. Hey, what are you looking at? May fortune favor you. All right, so now I have to craft a rare engine, which I can't do yet because I don't have everything yet. So I still need to have a drive connector as well as a AM regulator. I'm not entirely sure how I'll get those, but I guess while doing stuff, I'll manage to get them. So I'll just wait for that. All right, I've been almost playing for half an hour, so I'll put the episode to a close here. But I hope you had fun, even though we were traveling most of the time and not actually got a jump drive. But yeah, I hope you still had fun and see you next time.